On Friday, NTV obtained two reports, one signed by the coordinator of intelligence agencies, General David Tenyefunza, and another, a memorandum of understanding between CBS and the Broadcasting Council on the terms on which the radio can be reopened. In the two reports, CBS was asked to stop calling itself Radio Uganda, the link itself from the institution of the Uganda King or the Kabaka and publicly apologized to the Broadcasting Council for violating broadcasting standards in September before it was closed down. The Broadcasting Council closed the Uganda Kingdom-owned radio at the height of the pro-Kabaka riots in September last year for allegedly promoting sectarianism and inciting violence. Now, ICT Minister Agri Awori, who heads a legal committee that will engage Mengo on deciding CBS's fate, says government is in talks with Mengo and has no final position on CBS's reopening. CBS has not received any conditionalities for opening the station. We are in the process of talking. When do you expect to serve them? Most likely this week. On the court case filed by CBS employees seeking compensation for loss of income since the radio was closed, Agra says it's better for the employees to withdraw the suit as negotiations continue. We're not the ones who went to court. The onus is on those who went to court to withdraw it or to pursue it. Maurice Ochol, NTV 11.